What's going on, people? I uh, just want to bring you a couple of stories that, that uh, actually I, I meant to bring you actually last week, to be honest with you. Uh, you may have actually heard about this. Some of you may have. Uh, this particular story right here, I want to go ahead and get out of the way because it's, uh, I really want you to see this this video in the next uh, story that I want to show you. But here's an officer who uh, was caught uh, wearing a uh, T-shirt with a symbol on it that uh, the symbol is used by the KKK. Uh, I've also read stories saying that the symbol is also uh, affiliated with white supremacist, other white supremacist groups, uh, neo-Nazi groups as well. And uh, here's the police chief uh, who says, uh, this is disgraceful and does not represent the hardworking committed officers of the 7th District. So obviously there must be some, some some pretty hard evidence against the guy. And the people who are basically going after him for this uh, is actually the Black Lives Matter organization. Uh, I learned something. I had no idea that they had a group uh, called uh, Law, for, Law for Black Lives. Uh, these are lawyers who represent uh, Black Lives Matter. So uh, that's good. I didn't know that. They need them. Uh, I've actually donated uh, money to them on a number of occasions uh, when they were going through some of their legal battles. When they started making these laws that that where they can really make it rough on people protesting, you know, uh, kind of like trying to make them seem to be terrorists. And, uh, yeah, started donating a little money to help them uh, fight some of their cases or whatever. So it's, it's good that they're really organizing and, and they have some lawyers. I I don't agree with. Well. I, I have had some disagreements with them in the past on, 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 on politics, uh, like when they were trying to work with the DNC. I just felt like that was a complete waste of time. But uh, the WikiLeaks emails came out, which revealed uh, the DNC actually disrespecting Black Lives Matter and, and, and basically saying to just humor them and talk to them, but offer them no answers. So I think they learned a lesson there and they, and they realized that. Uh, uh, though they may not totally give up on the DNC, I think they really learned a lesson as to where they really stand for that email to just clearly say. And the email also referred to them as radicals. They called them radicals. So if you're looking at Black Lives Matter and you're calling them radicals, that's just a way of saying, I think completely differently. than I, I, I think their point of view about black people, black unarmed people being shot by police in the front and back uh, and, and all sorts of other uh, suspicious circumstances. If you can look at that and call them radicals and you're supposed to be a part of the DNC, you're supposed to be a Democrat, you know, that <laughs> that's not good. So you, you, they're, they're not supposed to be radicals in your view. And, and that's how they would describe. They would describe as radicals by uh, uh, someone. I forgot who it was, who was a uh, uh, sending an email. It was, it was a DNC employee who was involved in dealing with Black Lives Matter. Uh, I, don't, I know you guys probably remember how they uh, had a hard time at uh, one of Hillary's, uh, one of her events where she was speaking and they wanted to speak to her and then they ended up speaking to her uh, in some back room somewhere and she gave them a little bit of time. But, you know, anyway, uh, but other than that, you know, we don't we don't all have to agree on everything. And, you know, I don't expect any organization or any one person to do everything that I agree with. So, you know, I, I still continue to support them in any way that I can. Uh, at this point, uh, given all these different things that they can charge you with for protesting, anybody who hits the streets, man, you know, it, it takes a lot of courage to, to do that. But, uh, yeah, so this officer was caught uh, wearing a T-shirt. He was uh, straight busted. And uh, let's see here. Uh, the Metropolitan Police Department is investigating reports that a police officer wore a T-shirt with a racist symbol on it while he was on duty. So he was wearing it while he was on duty. All right. So, uh, yeah, this is enough on that one. So I want you guys to see this video here. Now, this story right here. I remember running into this story a while back. And what this is, this is actually... A uh, situation where some cops caught this guy right here, the guy you see that they're they're torturing him there. 
and I'm going to show you the video in a minute, they claim that he was stealing a, 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 an assault rifle and he planned to use the assault rifle to kill some police. Now, how they knew that, I don't know. The story that I read a while back, I want to say this, this was in May or something. And I'm just, I'm just amazed that these officers are just now being suspended. I mean, uh, this came out of July 31st right here. And they're just now being suspended. Now, you, now you look at this and, and, you, <laughs> and, and, and you ask yourself, what kind of sense does it make when you see what they're doing to this kid, man? Uh, you ask yourself, how in the hell is it possible that they're just now being suspended? You know, three deputies have been suspended after the video showed, uh, showed him being repeatedly uh, targeted while being pinned down. When they say targeted, they talk about taser. He was targeted with a taser. Uh, and this guy, you're not, the audio sucks, but what the guy is telling them is he's telling them that he's going to keep tasing him until the batteries run down. All right, so he's filed, this guy has filed a lawsuit against them as well. Let's see if we can get this video to play right here. Hold up. Man, what? Now, let me stop this for a second. Now, I don't really care what the kid did with as far as the assault rifle. He doesn't look like he's perched uh, by a still an assault rifle now. And he certainly doesn't look like he's killing any police. He is very much under control. And these officers are willingly torturing this kid. This is this is some evil shit right here. So, yeah, I'm going to let you you want to look at that. Uh, you can go ahead. Now, this is uh, this next video is them. I think they're trying to give him some medical treatment or something like that. Let's see. Audio still sucks. She's treating his wounds. He had like about 40 something burn wounds from the taser. And you know what's really scary? It's scary how stupid officers are these days. Now, these guys, I'm sure they knew there was a camera in all. <laughs> I'm sure they knew there was a camera in all of these rooms and they're just doing this stuff like, you know, they look, it ain't a damn thing to it. We just do it. It's no problem. You can tell he's miserable as hell. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so he's got a lawsuit against them and uh, they're just now uh, being suspended or whatever. Uh, I don't know how that's going to turn out. They, they may actually end up getting fired. I, I really it's hard. It's so hard to say these days. There was a time when those guys would have got fired a long time ago. That video would have dropped. That's it. But now 
seems like they're trying to condition people's mind not to even really pay attention to video. Video is like right there in front of you. And uh, yeah, that that is a trip right there. So I just wanted to bring you guys that and uh, just a couple of stories I thought you'd be interested in. Of course, as usual, I'm going to drop these stories down in the bottom and uh, you guys can check them out for yourselves. All right. All right, guys, take it easy.